Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to do upserts in Postgres. An upsert is a statement used to either insert new records or update existing records in a database provided some conditions are met. In Postgres, an upsert statement can be accomplished with the use of an onConflict clause during an insert. The onConflict clause allows us to specify a different behavior from insert if a unique violation or exclusion constraint violation occurs. The onConflict clause allows us to specify two different actions, do nothing or do update. Let's take a look at how this works. For this example, I've created a dummy database with a table called users. The users table has a few columns, one of which is for emails and has a uniqueness and not null constraint. I'm going to use the backslash e meta command to use vim as my query buffer editor. By default, if no onConflict clause is given to an insert, an error is raised for violations. We can see this by trying to create a new user with an email that's already in our database. Here we can see that Postgres returned an error for a uniqueness violation. If we want to ignore such errors, we can use the onConflict clause and specify do nothing. We can see from the output that no changes were made from our command, but also that no errors were raised. If we want to instead update onConflict, we specify do update. The do update statement requires parameters to match upon, either the conflicting column or the constraint being violated. To match upon column, we simply specify the column name after the onconflict statement. In our case, our unique constraint is set to email, so we're going to say onconflict email. After we tell Postgres we wish to update onconflict, we have to specify how the update is to be performed. This is done using the set command and passing the column name and value we wish to update. In Postgres, there's a special table called excluded that's used to represent rows proposed for insertion. It's from this table that we're able to get the value for our update statement. We can see from the output now that our changes have been made. If during onConflict we want to match upon constraint instead of column, we use onConstraint followed by the constraint name we're matching upon. We can see once again that our database has been updated. Thanks for watching.